How's it going, 8 Imaging fans? Welcome back for another 2 Minute Tuesday tutorial. This one's going to be a quick one. This one's going to be on digital zoom for our POV cameras. So without further ado, let's get started. So right in front of me to demonstrate digital zoom, I have our HD100A and our brand new weatherproof HD X3L IP67 camera. If you're interested in this camera, there's more information on our website at adaimaging.com. Now to move on to our static lens side real quick, we're going to take a look at our HD100A preview video. Hello. And we're going to enter the special menu under the uh, OSD menu, and we're going to look for digital zoom. Now initially this is going to be off. Uh, all you got to do is just uh, click to the right or left and you're going to be able to enter a new menu called DZoom Control. Now what digital zoom does is it effectively crops the image so that way it gets rid of unwanted pixels that you don't want to see in the frame such as maybe this black wall right behind me. So in order for me to digital zoom all you got to do is just right click and enter the digital zoom and you're going to notice that right behind me it's going to start to disappear but we're also going to be effectively zooming in the image right now so it looks like right now it's a uh, really close to me um, but you're not going to see any more of that wall behind me because i digitally zoomed it out right so this is uh, neat maybe you installed it a little too far or a little too close you can actually crop out what you need to uh, without having to change the static lens on it right now it's a little bit different when we pull up our HD X3 IP67. So if you have a uh, zoom module from us, it's going to be the same thing. Um, I have the zoom module being represented on the top left corner, but instead what it does in under special is it sets a limit, right? So if we turn this on, you're going to see that there's a limit. So you're effectively having your three times optical zoom magnified by another 12 times optical zoom. So there's no loss in quality as I go up to the three times, right? Cause this is a three times optical zoom camera. But then it'll start to digitally zoom after three times, right? To effectively give you about 36, or in this case, 42 times. And that's about it for digital zoom. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and get back to you. But if you did enjoy this content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. It's really helping us out and we're almost to 120 subscribers. We're really excited for that and can't wait to keep producing more content for you guys. With that said, you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again next Tuesday.